So I have I have different standards for like dating if I'm dating a person that isn't black now. Like they have to be they have to be there with it. Do you know what mm-hmm, I mean? Mm-hmm. So like if I am like are you guys what do you guys think of interracial dating just by what I'm not? I mean my no, my parents, I come from an interracial because um, my mom is mixed race. Mm-hmm. She's like those really light mixed race, you know what I oh, mean? Okay. And she's from Brazil and my dad's from Ghana. Yeah. So it's like it's a lot of you know what I mean? And she doesn't, because as, as, as I was saying before, because of Brazilian, she's mixed race, but she doesn't consider herself as black. Because Brazilian, that's what Brazilian people are like. You know so what I mean? would you date into or not? No, because it's, it's just easier to, for me to just date yeah. someone that's from my own. What about you, Sheree? I'm not against it. Mm-hmm. I think if you're going to be dating somebody interracially, that person, especially if it's, if it's me dating a white guy, that person has to be on point yeah, with yeah. everything black. Mm-hmm. He needs to understand my struggles. And if we're going to have kids, he's going to have to understand that my kids, the kids might also face that kind of backlash as well because they're half black. Yeah. Because of the world won't see them as half white. They'll always see them as half black kind of thing. You know true. what I mean? So, true. so yeah. they, they will need to understand from like to a core. Like obviously they're not going to understand because they don't have experience. They won't face, they won't go through what I've been going through or what my brothers have been going through. But, <laughs> They need to understand that. And if they don't, then I'm sorry. They can't have the, Yeah. That's, that's the same thing. And that's what I've had to kind of advise my brothers. I'm like, you know what? You're free to date who you want to date. But if you're going to date somebody from who's outside of the race, make sure that they know your struggles as a black man. Because you may get, you may, like he's going to get stopped by police or something like that or whatnot, or stopped in the shop because they thought, oh, he stole something. And they're going to have to understand the reasons why. Yeah. And they have to educate themselves to understand that, right, this is what he's going through and how am I going to support him as an ally, as yeah. somebody who's not of a black, who's not yeah. a black person, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's all about educating yourself and understanding the, the struggles that I go through and how they're going to use their privilege mm-hmm. to change things in society. Because if anything... It's going to be them who's going to be listened more to than yeah. me. You know 100%. what I mean? So, yeah. I hear that. What about you? Um, I feel like it's... it's um, I agree with, with the interracial dating in it. Mm-hmm. So, but I feel like it's going to be about, like, your character. Like what she was saying. Like, yeah. are you educated about these things? Um, where's your head at? Like, about family and... You know what I mean? If our views are aligned and and things fit right, then... I'm cool with it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I like what I like, so mm-hmm. if it's going to be a white girl or black or Asian, then it is what it is, isn't it? If I like that person, then... Love is blind. So. Love is blind. Okay. I do not believe that. I've love got is a blind. question. Love is blind. Love is blind. I've got a question. You know, as black men, mm-hmm. have, like, your parents or those in your family kind of pushed the idea of you, aware of you guys dating a white woman? Because I know that for, from black women's perspective, some of them have encouraged us to date white men. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it's the other way around. So yeah. what are your thoughts on that, if you get what I mean? Um, yeah, um, yeah. It's, um, I get exactly what you mean. Like, um, like my mom would want me to, like, to, to date a black woman. Yeah. And, yeah. But, um, but it's, it's, it, the, the hard thing to understand is, is the reason why, though. Because I get what you mean about them. Mm-hmm. Maybe your mom might want you to date a white guy, innit? Yeah, so no, and I'm saying in a sense of like, I've heard a lot of people from my community in terms of saying, Sheree, you like, just date a, just date a white man, or, you know, like, you can mm-hmm. date a Congolese man, but we wouldn't, we wouldn't like shine, like, oh gosh, she's dating a white guy if she did that. Mm-hmm. Because their perspective of things is that if we do divorce, that the kids will usually stay with the mom majority of the time, innit? Yeah. And also for culture, because if you also see from like mixed race kids as well, you can tell who's been raised by yeah. a black woman, who's been raised yes. by a white woman. You can just tell the difference. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Right. And I think that's what they're worrying about because I think sometimes they see that black men sometimes, I'm not I'm just just putting out sometimes, yeah. yeah they um they probably don't put their culture into it so it's much, so whereas right. black women would. Yeah. The majority of black women would. I'm yeah. not saying all black men do that, but some I get you know what I mean. From. I definitely get so that I think that's why they would yeah. say that if you were to have mixed race kids then as a black woman that's fine because we know that those kids will be culturally yeah up together and obviously the kids will usually stay with the mum. Yeah. Whereas if it was the way around, the kids would stay with the white mum. Okay. And then that does make sense. It's um, a, yeah. I my, don't know. My parents never never really had like a conversation. Like, I feel like they always just assumed that I'd bring home a white girl. 
I don't know why. Really? Yeah, like they were just like, you gotta bring home a, a white girl out, and I was just like. See, I don't see know. you dating a black girl either. I never saw I that. See, you I see you dating a white, like marrying a white girl. I think now he I probably would. With, <laughs> with any, I see we with any girl because Williams, I feel like he's open minded. Like you, like <laughs> you, <laughs> will, like you won't expect it. So he. <laughs> Either way, it can go either way. But. Yeah, the history doesn't lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, when it comes to, like, fixing this stuff, like, are we going to fix this from within or is it, like, going to be an outwards in thing? Do you know what I mean? So we're going to be like, we need these communities to do this and then we're going to work on our own and we're going to work on our own and then spread it out, if that mm. makes sense. The work on our own and spread it out. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because, listen, the thing is, if, if people, if, um, if, People from other races see how we treat ourselves. Thank you. You know how we treat one another. That's how they're gonna feel like we can, we can that they can treat us too. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. I hear that because in the Asian community, yeah, if you're gonna to talk to an Asian woman, right, you have to make sure you're coming correct. Yeah. Like you cannot talk to her in any just any way Anyhow, yeah. because those guys will, will tell you like. That's not you're going to talk to my sister. Do you know what I mean? Gee, see, what, see what I mean? Black men don't do that. See what I mean? Yeah, black don't. men will be the ones doing that. Could talking to us anyhow. You know what I'm saying? Literally. Yeah. Sometimes because I've had that with what you said. Uh, my mom said, date a white guy because he's going to treat you better. That's all. That's what I've been hearing all, all yeah. my life. Do you know what I'm saying? My da- Even my dad says that too. But that's not yeah, what that, I'm attracted that's thing, to. Yeah. But that's not yeah, what I'm attracted black, to. Black guys ain't shit, bro. It's the fuck. <laughs> no, no. No, 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 this this is what contributes to the, a lot of these things. Listen, talk about your own experiences here. I'm not uh, most of the time, actually for you, yeah, it, it doesn't apply to you. But most of the guys I know in our circle... Oof, don't do that. Oh. <laughs> well, actually, let me not say in our circle. Track. Let me say... Certain individuals. Yeah, or in our school. Yeah. Let's say in our school, because mm-hmm. that's even broader that way. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them have grown up without fathers, bro. Okay, yeah. Uh, or yeah. or the fathers that have oh. been there, they're not really strong male characters. Characters. They're yeah. just there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But most of them haven't grown up without fathers. And what that does is it makes the child chaotic, bro. They don't mm. they don't have any sense of direction or anything. They're just out wilding. Mm. The next thing they're gonna end up in prison or just just behaving badly. Then they're like, ah, oh, these men are being racist to me. Mm. Yeah, but you've been a uh, you've been tormenting society doing all this madness <laughs> and now you're saying the system is racist because blah 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 this is happening the but it all is started racist. how because the father wasn't there yeah. to instill the morals are you going to say everything. that the system isn't racist though huh? no, no it is it is racist but, but you, what are you doing for situation. yourself to get out of that situation with that point it's kind of like it's the system's fault then because if you think about it black men are more likely to get arrested mm-hmm. over a bag of weed or something compared to white men mm-hmm. and by taking somebody away from the household and leaving the mum, a black mum with black boys as well, to bring them up, it's not going to work because obviously they're going to be facing different things. Like just like what you said, and for them they're going to be angry. They're going to be like you said, tormenting society yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, but why do you have weed? That's my point. No, but what? Then, yeah, but why do you have weed? No, do you not like yeah. Okay, cool. That's fair. But yeah. the thing is, the difference is a white guy with weed is going to be like. Just, just go home. Why do you have weed? A black guy with weed. Is don't have like, weed. We need to take you to the station. I mate. can get weed. So yeah, don't have weed. Yeah, yeah. but <laughs> yeah, I get what you're a saying. Lot, a lot of things can be solved just by you not being in certain situations. Yeah, that means that you end up in a bad place. Simple. <laughs> no, yeah. Just don't be there. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> you're not, agree you're not gonna get arrested if you're out in the streets. If you're busy minding your own business, mm-hmm. educating yourself, yeah. or whatever you're doing that's productive. Yeah. Most of these things ain't gonna happen. Yeah, to but you. also don't ignore. But obviously, obviously don't. On. Obviously, with that point, yeah, don't ignore the reasons why that person's on the street in the first place. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like don't be insensitive to the fact. It started that this with the family. No, but they, not necessarily. Dad wasn't there, there or why something is, why messed is the dad up. Not there. Like, do you think it's just? Oh yeah, it's just the dad. Just take away a dad. There's people that have dads in their lives and still deviants. Yeah, you know like I, mean? I said, didn't it? the dad is yeah, but a strong can, character. You can be a strong. Listen, I know someone. You got a strong, <laughs> car- strong dad character. He's there. The guy patterns things strict. Right, they need to be home person. at a certain time, but they can still they still deviance. You know what I mean? Is the mom on point as well? The mom is on point as well. Yeah, definitely. But listen, we need to discuss who you're talking about. <laughs> listen, I guarantee that's not the point. One of the parents is faulty there. The point They're not is, all but I just think you can't keep blaming it on the parents. It's that that individuals as well. I'm, I've just given you an example, True. and you, you like you're trying so hard 
to defend it like yeah it must be the family it must be the family no no like, it all that's starts part there of the issue. Yeah, it's part of the I'm not that's saying it's issue. wholeheartedly that yeah there's a, they're all contributing factors nope, in like, yeah, but why not eliminate the stuff that you can control first because yeah. that way you can at least alleviate the situation yeah. but you're not doing that so you're making everything worse yeah. I get what you mean yeah. I can yeah. see where you're coming from but then yeah. if you think about which these, is hard I'm not going to lie yeah. that's very difficult to have a um, but you see, a good environment the thing is like if you're in a certain environment you're just going to end up getting stuck in those things especially if you're around people that do that that's yeah. how it happens simple yeah. yeah it may start in the family but you go that's to school said, you go to school be around those people how no, are you going to tell how are you going to tell a 13 year old to not be around those people that's their only friends you don't, you don't need to have friends, mate. What, well, but it's, 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 it's so actually, silly. though. That is no, actually ridiculous. Actually, okay, okay, okay. That is ridiculous, okay, okay, okay. Ridiculous, okay, okay, okay. Ridiculous. Me saying you don't need friends, that was a bit too savage. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> if, you, if you change yourself, the right people always come to you. I'm telling you now, people always come to you. Like, yeah. with me, I always remain myself. Yeah. You might say this, you'd be like, yo, I might not agree with some of the stuff Louis does. Mm. He's, he's a bit mad, maybe. Yeah. But you recognise maybe my good qualities and you stick around, right? Mm-hmm. But if I tried pleasing you and all the people around me mm-hmm. and hang around with you, even though you're a bad influence on me, mm-hmm. then whatever happens to me is on me and whatever happens to you is on you. So you, you need to distance yourself around the people that are not good for you, bro. It doesn't matter how much you love them. Like some people I love, bro, but they've ended up in bad situations. Therefore, they, they, they shouldn't call me. Drop the mic, drop Whoa. the mic. Goodness gracious. Wow. We're really out of time. But, 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 I'll say this. <laughs> I love them and I pray for them. It's like, I love you though, but stay that right, way. Like, stay a phone. I will pray Don't for you phone. and I love you, but until you fix yourself, look deep within your heart, I don't need to be around you. Yeah, you've got to think about yourself. All right, we need to move on. We need to move on. We need to talk about solutions quickly. <laughs> Fuck sake, man. Uh, what are solutions that we can do moving forward and just like an everlasting solution? Like my thing is fighting oppression economically. Like that's the one I really want to push. Like putting money back into our communities mm-hmm. personally. Um, educating ourselves on our history because we can't rely on white people to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Um, black owned ventures in various sections, like whether it's security, our own shoot supermarkets, like all the things that make an economy we need in our community. You yeah. Know what I mean, um, reading needs to be cool as well. Have you ever seen that quote? It's like, if you ever want to hide something from, if you ever want to hide something from a black person, put it in a book. Have you seen that quote? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> what I the have. hell? Because we don't read. We don't read. read. Oh, I read. Yeah. Really I read. Like, like, people, if, if, if you say, it's, go, to, go home to your friends now, if you've got any friends that aren't like, not like because obviously you're you're more of like an intelligent type I'd say <laughs> so all your friends probably read I'm not saying wow. you're dumb but like you probably have friends that are a bit more on the wild side huh? just oh I was, I was okay so yeah. I say I'd say go and ask them if they read and then if a lot of them don't read then it's clearly an issue that yep. needs to be sorted yeah. out yeah. you know what I mean we need to understand money and economics in our community this well. is the thing as in my kids need yeah. to grow up understanding that so yep. that they're in a better position to like Oh, if I do this, I do this. Like, forget the shoes. Because you know? by the time I get to, let's say, about 30, 40, mm-hmm. maybe even 50, I want my kids to, to inherit that generational wealth because that's not really prominent in the black community. Mm-hmm. And wow. I want it to start with our, our generation because if you look at, like, mm-hmm. white people, mm-hmm. a lot of them, if it's either, like, estates or, you know, whatever it is, they're mm-hmm. always inheriting something, the yeah. majority of them. Yeah. But what about us? Because mm-hmm. we don't educate ourselves when it comes to finances or anything like that. Mm-hmm. And I've also found something like in with African parents specifically, mm-hmm. they like to be hush-hush about money. Mm-hmm. Yep. And by the time, but from them being hush-hush about money, it's really putting us in like really bad places because if you get into debt, how are we going to deal with that? How are we going to deal with savings and stuff like that? Like even for myself right now, because mm-hmm. obviously I look after my brother and whatnot, yeah. I already started saving for my future house in 10 years because yeah. I'm just like, I'm not going to be in a position where mm-hmm. like I don't have something to like, you know, to say like, Shri, you've been here, what have you been doing about it? Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to be able to, because... If we think about it, we're all our parents' legacies. We have to do something because yeah. our children's children's children also need to benefit from them. You want them to be good. Enough with the struggle, man. Like, yeah, I'm exactly. tired of struggling. Exactly. <laughs> I've been struggling enough yeah. in this life, you know what I mean? Yeah, being yeah. black is a struggle already. Yeah. And then being a woman, a black woman as well is a struggle. I don't, I don't want to struggle anymore. Yeah. So if I have to work 10 times harder, I will do it. I will sure do it right. to make sure that my kids and my kids' kids mm-hmm. have that generational wealth. 
So I think money, we have to stop being hush hush about stop it because it. by doing that, we're just setting us up for failure. Hundred percent, hundred percent. That's why that's like why reading needs to be cool so we can read out about it. Like, yeah. have co- so we can have conversations with our friends about it. Do you know what I mean? So we can yeah. be like, what do you think about this, this, this? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Understand? Like, I don't really understand interest rate. Like, I didn't know that APR was an interest rate. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I really did not understand it properly. So. Mm. Definitely, like, is a thing. And yeah, like you said, creating a system where our kids can flourish. Mm-hmm. And for I the think next generation to be better. As one other thing would be um, <clears throat> applying for those top, top jobs as well. Mm-hmm. And even if it takes us hard to get there, let's just keep pushing and keep doing exactly. it because we need more politicians. Mm-hmm. We need more youth workers. We need more bankers. We need more teachers. We need more, like, you know, pastors. We need a lot more of everybody. In yeah. the, Shout out to Mr. Gabriel. <laughs> He's the head teacher now. If you didn't know. And the science teacher, what was the science teacher called? Remember her? No, no, I don't know. I me- don't know why you're mentioning names though. Ah, <laughs> no, no, shout out to Mr. Gabriel, yo. <laughs> Well, yeah, we just need more people in those top places because people like obviously when it comes to like the corporate side of things, people are like, oh, but why are black people not applying for our jobs? Yeah. Another thing would be have you made it a place for black people to want to work in because of the, all the microaggressions and stuff like that? But yeah. if there were enough black people, I'm pretty sure a lot more black people would be applying for those jobs yeah, and there'll be more role models for younger kids because yeah. the more knowledge we know, the more knowledge we can share with everybody else, the more everybody can be up as well because. Yeah. There's no hierarchy thing in this, especially if you're black. Let's let's all just kind of yeah, get back up. You know what I mean? Just remember, no matter how rich you are, you're still a black man in yeah, the eyes yeah. of the law. You know what I mean? We need to speaking out and being courageous is like a thing that we need to not be afraid to do as well. Like from now mm-hmm. until the end, and not investing in ignorant celebrities as well. Because I, I heard like some, was there some big, Asian woman bro. that said something crazy? Big, 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 big. And people are still buying her makeup and stuff. Yeah, do you know what it's I mean? not. It's not even I've that. Even, I've even got to the point where I talk to Kashi Six Nine off of my playlist. That's what I'm saying. And there's a song there that I really like. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> but it's like, if is there are people willing to like get rid of a song that they really like? That's and if you're what not, I'm mm. then. Yeah, we're, that's we're not going to make that many changes if you yeah. can't even do the simple things yeah. one thing I, I would say as well um, starting within our own community do you know what I'm saying oh, yeah, starting that's, with that's, that's a big no that's a big thing because yeah. it's, it's those little things that really make a difference you know what I'm saying mm. because if if they see us killing each other if they see um, black men treating women a certain way if they see yeah. black women because black people are always in competition with each other let's stop that let's, yeah. let's stand up for each other exactly let's stand up for each other let's be together yeah. that's definitely a conversation let's all be together you know what I'm saying come mm-hmm. together yeah. so that they can see because we, we are stronger we're stronger together yeah. that, and, that, and that's that's, that's on period yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. because that's if they hard. see if, if the other races see us treating us doing doing us anyhow to each other mm-hmm. you know that's that that gives them control over us yeah. do yeah. you get me so and let us stop being like really a, Twitter, a Twitter thing where yeah. black men we've got to do by black women but you're not doing anything not start doing actively anything. looking after your sisters your, your love, friends and stuff listen, like that I you know really, what I mean I love my black men you know what I'm saying? I, and I, when I say that, I mean not because they're attractive. I mean I love a black man because I feel I feel for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel for you guys because I feel like they suffer. I don't know who suffers more, but black. I know that black men suffer a lot. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I feel for you when you start driving and you, um, I don't know, you go to America, you go to any any place, mm-hmm. and then you get stopped by a police. I feel for you. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel for you in any workplace, in any place where people are gonna, uh, you know, um, um stereotype you you know i mm, feel for for white women or any other race who um fetish you guys you know what i'm saying exactly oh. so i i really i deeply you know and i want black men to have the same sort of sympathy for me as well yeah, yeah. as a black woman you exactly know what I'm that. Saying? Yeah. So it's, like, it's all... I, I feel like we need to encourage each other to like when you see even your, even if it's a black guy as well doing something wrong to another black woman like you need to have a conversation like bro like this is so counterproductive yeah, yeah. do mm. better you know what i mean mm. like i saw a video of like a black guy hitting a girl with a skateboard and i just thought this what week. are your bros doing like what are your bros actually doing yeah. you know what i mean like, i saw I, three different videos that's insane. one of the skateboard yeah one where black men were throwing the girl into a dumpster yeah. and another where i think a girl a black girl and a black boy were arguing mm-hmm. and then he just literally like punched her on the head and then she had to walk off that's i'm like insane. you guys are out here tweeting let's do better by black women but you're treating black women like this and then you're recording it and then you're posting right. it yeah. exactly where everyone can see it's like right if black men are treating black women like this that means we can do that yeah, yeah. Exactly. you know what i mean that's that what means saying. we can do that you yeah. guys are setting the standard for how everybody else treats us that's so yeah. you guys have to fix it first so that everybody else can kind of go by that by that yeah, point you definitely. know what i mean definitely. that's what they want they want us to be against each other so that they can have the power of us that's just how they do it they've been doing that 
since mm-hmm. slavery times they want us to be against so we're too busy arguing fighting who's best at this while meanwhile they're yeah. doing whatever they're doing secretly keeping us right there keeping us on the you know yeah, what I'm exactly where they want us yeah. final points I know we need to do some learning and unlearning of course <laughs> oh yeah um, it needs to be a lifelong project as well this is yeah. it's not over now I mean, yeah. This has to go on for years. We need to fight for and it. And what's yeah. the sad thing about this is that although we will educate ourselves and whatnot, there are still racists teaching their kids to be racist. Yes. For our kids to be, for them to be our kids. So that's, that's why it you know starts what I mean? in school. That's why it, starts, it starts in school. You know, educate, yeah. bringing, you know, introducing That's why subjects. it needs to be a, a collective thing where mm-hmm. we are working with those races. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't just yeah. say, we're going to work on this. Did, did you see They're involved America? as well, so... Yeah. Just educating them as well. Yeah, did you yeah. see that man in America that, that we used to chill with KKK members? Did oh, you yeah. see that documentary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Uh, someone told me about that. Crazy, but. crazy, crazy, crazy. I did not understand or agree with any of his points, but at the same time, I do kind of understand. Because well, what like, was he saying? He chills with, with KKK members and, you know, he talks to them and he's friends with them and, and he, you know, he goes to the rallies and all of that. And it's like, you know, it, it's, you have Wait, to Wait, is be, he like a... A KKK member in a way without the clothes? No. Or is he actually like saying which these, these are the people? He wants to understand them, so he goes he goes and be he, he bees with them. He doesn't oh, he's showing them love basically. Yes. He's bl- he's black himself. And I and feel I feel like that's hard to do. But we need to do try something similar to that. Not to his extent, obviously. <laughs> he went too far. <laughs> he's like fully like <laughs> infiltrated the whole the whole KKK, you know what I mean? Yeah. But we need to do that. Like yeah. if someone's being racist to you, or whatever, like talk to them. Yeah, yeah. like understand trying, where they. Yeah. You know what I mean. I like trying. Oh, so, no, go on. Off, I was gonna say I just saw a tweet that talked about how our generation doesn't have like any Martin Luther Kings, any Rosa Parks, mm-hmm. any Malcolm X, any of them lot there, yes. mm-hmm. and that's actually really like in a way worrying. We have influencers and rappers. Yeah, but mm-hmm. what are they doing? That's, yeah, Nothing. yeah. What are so they, they doing? To, yeah. they don't do are anything. they donating to these black organizations? Probably are they not. buying from like black businesses? Do you like know, you know what I mean? Like, no. what do are they why? doing? Because if they start doing, if they start preaching certain things, people will stop listening to them. People because what's what is attractive now? Guns, killing, this, this, hearing about yeah. that—that's what's and attractive. The, and the thing is, what, what Martin Luther King was trying to say was, it's 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 that whole thing of seeing white kids playing with with black kids. You know what I mean? That's why he wanted. He didn't say, "Oh, one day I want the black kids to be free and be able to play on their own." No, he was saying together. So I understand what you guys are saying. Support black people. Support the business. This, this. But it needs to be a whole like a thing that's integrated together. Like yeah. find a way to work with those people because we're all human at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. So we need to work with each other. We can't just say, keep, um, like, because in a way, it's like we're kind of promoting segregation mm-hmm. by saying, ah, oh, we just... That's when the media just turned it into that. That's, yeah. that's a conversation for another day. But mm-hmm. on that note, <laughs> <laughs> it's been the Dynamics Podcast. I'd like to thank Sheree for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Serious points. Go check out our page, Talks by Sheree B. It's Talks with Sheree B. Sorry. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> the but link thank will you. be in the description, most definitely. Okay, so thank you for coming as well. You're welcome. Thank, thank you for having me. Louis the Ghost. You do what you do best. And that's been a Dynamics podcast. I know what I need to do. What? <laughs> <laughs>